टुकड़ा लाइफ रख दो इट्स कंपनी दैट हैज क्रिएटेड सम कंपेलिंग ब्रांड्स एंड मेनी ऑफ देम हैव इवॉल्व विथ नियरली 40% ऑफ द इंडियन बिस्किट मार्केट ब्रिटानिया इज वन ऑफ द लीडर्स इन अ प्रीटी कंपेटिटिव लैंडस्केप बट ओवर द इयर्स इट हैज डन अ लॉट मोर एक्सपेंडिंग इट्स बेस्ट सेलर्स एंड ग्रोइंग इनटू न्यू एरियाज वन पर्सन क्लोजली इन्वॉल्व विद दिस चेंज हैज बीन द कंपनीज एमडी विनीता बाली Vinita came in in 2005 after near 15 year international stint at Cadbury and Coca-Cola. So what made her come back to India? Frankly, I think it was exciting and I'm not using the word uh, uh you know in a flippant manner at all. I think what what creates excitement is for somebody like me, you know, who grew up in brands and who grew up with marketing and then moved to general management and so on. What I saw in Britannia was huge latent equity mm-hmm. in brand Britannia. What I saw in Britannia was a wonderful range of uh, you know portfolio that was kind of stifled because we didn't think of it innovatively and we didn't think of it in a refreshing manner. What I saw in Britannia was a company on the cusp of great change because of the environment in india that it was operating in but you know 2005 i, I want to get back to that uh, one point uh, it was a time when you know the company had about one and a half years of no uh, head i mean or a difficult patch uh, mm-hmm. there was a lot of negativity sure and that's that's a window that uh, companies can ill afford you know in a very hyper competitive Absolutely. market so when you came were you also arresting a slight and and managing a portfolio while also looking at strategy E, oh absolutely you know when you come come into a situation like that um the way i think about it it is about not just business model transformation but fundamentally it is about a cultural transformation because you know business takes place within a certain cultural norm um you know companies have cultures uh, academic institutions have cultures so i think there is a business model transformation and there is a cultural transformation and both have to go hand in hand and uh, you know for me it was particularly interesting or exciting because uh, there was lots of challenges in the market the competitive landscape had changed uh, in many ways you know we were not focused on the consumer and for a consumer product company to say that uh, um, you know we were not really focused on consumers is not the happiest of situations but let me take a step back uh, in the period that you were not here between uh, you know uh, 91 and 2005 you were actually experiencing different markets and you know managing affairs over there you went to nigeria south africa in the mid- before that uh, london and then you went to latam in a sense did you see a lot of what was happening over here subsequently already play out in the slightly more developed evolved markets there are many parallels that uh, there are many parallels that one can draw but i think there was something very unique about india and that something that was very unique about india was out of a large number of these um, you know uh, emerging economies um india is one of the few where our growth is driven by a very large base of domestic consumption mm-hmm. you know unlike uh, nigeria we're not that dependent on imports certainly not for the kind of products that we are talking about so india is actually a very good mix of uh, a very large domestic consumption complete chaos when it comes to uh, you know infrastructure and so on and so forth um and there are some markets in africa there are markets in latin america which from an infrastructure point of view were far better than india was vinita's international career began in 1984 when she went to nigeria with cadbury she was seen as a turnaround manager there and in latin america and later in south africa where she headed cadbury's marketing division So is there a formula for success in turnarounds that work across markets? You know the theoretical construct of it is similar. You know when do companies require a turnaround? They require a turnaround when you know competitively they are in a weaker position, markets have changed and moved, there hasn't been uh you know a consistency of leadership uh in the company itself 
and there is so much churn that is going on that all of that that needs to stop you know when you get into the granular detail and the nitty gritty of it uh, you know obviously it's different you know there are cultures that are far more emotional than other cultures there are cultures where um, you know people are willing to take um, uh, direction there are other cultures like ours where you know there is far more discussion and argument so you know the sometimes the, too much of it uh, most times too much of it actually you know where the bias for action comes uh, you know is not as much as it should be the sense of urgency is not there you know the ownership that you have to display so you know the theory is okay but i think what it requires is uh, you know an empathetic sort of insight into the um, you know the people that you're dealing with the industry that you're dealing with the competitive context that you're dealing with and frankly a judgment call on what it will take in this environment with these people in this context to be effective while well, the early lessons in turnaround management helped what also helped Vinita for the road ahead was the experience at Coca-Cola managing the world's biggest brand you know what coke taught me really was the discipline of marketing um people look at coke and you know we talk about coke as being innovative as being creative and so on but coke is very disciplined certainly when it comes to brand coke really uh, absolutely i mean you know you look at the way brand coke has been marketed for you know over 100 years around the world the architecture of the brand how the brand connects with other things the associative imagery that it creates you know so coke is all about you know driving deep an understanding of marketing of people as people of people as shoppers of people as buyers of uh, you know the whole art of impulse purchase what robert woodruff had said you know coke with the arms reach of desire and how that gets manifest around the world you know it is vending machines in japan but it is you know these big mamas sitting in kenya being replenished twice a day or thrice a day with coke so coke is all about connecting with people because marketing is all about connecting with people coke is all about how do you make brands relevant to people's lives it is not about how your life fits into you know it's not about how my brand fits into your life but how your life fits into my brand for well, Vinita the early lessons helped in understanding difficult markets and how to manage brands lessons that would come in handy as bali came back to india to manage britannia a company that is going through a series of challenges more on that when we return